Well, for a lot of people, celebrating America's independence includes a trip to the lake, but the fun can quickly turn to tragedy. CBS 11's Brittany Jeffers out at Lake Louisville this morning with a few things you can do to stay safe. Brittany. Yeah, Russ, out here along the water, you can expect to see more game wardens here today, but they tell me the most basic thing, easiest thing that you can do if you're going to be swimming or boating is to make sure that you wear a life jacket. Now, the game wardens say that you need to make this game plan before you head out to the lake to make sure that you have everything on your checklist. Uh, most importantly, they say everyone on board needs to be prepared, and that includes life jackets because it's the law. They're required to have a... a life jackets for everybody on board that fit. So an adult has to have an adult life jacket. You can't put an adult life jacket on a kid because it'll slip off. Um, so life jackets for everyone on board. The registration card that matches the TX numbers they're assigned when they register the boat. Uh, fire extinguisher has to be serviceable. It can't be expired because it doesn't do you any good. So again, anyone under the age of 13 must have a life jacket on at all times. And as far as fit is concerned, we're told the vest should be snug around the torso. And when lifting up the shoulder straps, it should not come past the bottom of the ears. Now, there was already a tragedy over this holiday weekend, a drowning. It happened just north of here over at Lake Ray Roberts. At this point, a victim hasn't been identified, and we do not know if that person was wearing a life vest or not. Reporting live here this morning along Lake Louisville, I'm Brittany Jeffers, CBS 11 News.